But right now, what's certain is it's just going to get better and it will start displacing more and more of the economy very soon with real human consequences. And it'll happen at a pace not like the iPhone or the internet where you had to build a whole infrastructure. Today, you have a medical AI model that can outdiagnose any doctor, pretty much, that works on a Raspberry Pi or a 12 year old computer. It's not hooked up yet, it will be next year. The cost of cognition is going to zero. So, end of 26, you will have probably an AI that, for many cognitive jobs, can create a digital twin of you on the other side of a keyboard, video, and mouse and replace you, like talented Mr. Ripley style, right? And it will do your job better than you can. And on the flip side, 2027, they're not going to get rehired. So graduate entry-level jobs dry up almost completely for cognitive sector. Then you start to see that displacement. And then 27, you start to see the first robots that can do physical tasks better. And they might cost $50,000, but $50,000 is $5 an hour. By 2028, they'll probably get down towards $20,000. And by 2028, you'll definitely have the full stack of almost every job that can be done remotely, can be done by an AI better. And the cost of that will be probably a hundred bucks a year for that AI to do your job better. So we have a thousand days to make as much of an impact as we can, or people entering the workforce to get involved as much as they can in AI. So look, if you're a grad right now and you're finding it tough, what should you do? You should go and build stuff, right? Like, use the replits, the IA agents of the world, the Sunos, the Lumas on audio and video to just build stuff, and that should be your resume. Your resume being, I went to this university, I did this, isn't good enough. People want to see what you build. And those that use this technology to build stuff will outcompete those that don't. Either in the workforce, they'll be the last to go, the first to be hired, or by launching their own things. Because suddenly you can scale businesses.